Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? I'm ready for this. Who should be Baby Bear? Hey, thanks! Who should be Baby Bear's parent? All right! And that means Buster is the narrator. Yes! Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Goldilocks and the Three Bears, as directed by you! Once upon a time, on a sunny day, a family of bears was walking in the woods while their dinner cooled off. There was a baby bear and a mama bear. Oh boy, this weather is too hot. Really? I think it's just right. Not for me it isn't. I'm going to wear my sun hat. I don't want to get a fur burn. Too bad Papa Bear has to work late today. I hope he makes it home in time for dinner. Little did the bears know, but at that very moment, someone else was walking in the woods. And her name was... Goldilocks! This is truly the most beautiful day the world has ever seen. Goldilocks had been prancing through the woods all day. She was tired and her tummy was grumbling when all of a sudden she saw something. Behold, a cozy cottage. Perhaps they have food and a place to rest my oh-so-weary legs. Now she didn't know it, but this was the bear's house. Goldilocks pranced through a garden full of giant flowers. What beauty! These blooms are truly a delight to behold. When she got to the front door, she knocked, but there was no answer. Alas, there is no one home, but I shall enter anyway. When she was inside, she couldn't believe her eyes. Right in front of her were three bowls of... Porridge! Oh, I adore porridge. I simply must try some. First, she ate from the big bowl. Egads, I declare with all my heart and soul, too hot. Then she ate from the medium bowl. Dad, Zooks! This freezes me to the bone! Too cold! Then she ate from the tiny bowl. Aha! I have arrived at perfection! Just right! After filling her tummy, Goldilocks wanted to relax and put her feet up. She looked around the room and spotted three chairs. So she tried them out. I have so many choices, but choose I must. First the big chair. <laughs> Alas, too tall. On to the next chair. Oh, no, no, no. Too short. Hmm, this chair seems promising. Ah, just right. But unfortunately, she was too heavy for the little seat, and it broke with a loud... <coughs> what misfortune! What misadventure! What drama! Goldilocks was exhausted from testing all those seats. She needed a nap. Then she saw just what she wanted. Three water beds. First she lay down on the big water bed. Oh, I fear I will be sick. Too wavy. Then she lay down on the medium water bed. My days! Tragedy! This waterbed isn't wavy enough! 
So then she lay down on the smallest one, and it was. Just right. And with that, she closed her eyes and fell fast asleep. <coughs> now, just as she fell asleep, the bears returned from their walk, ready to eat their dinner. But they instantly noticed that something was wrong. Papa Bear's not home from work yet. Well, I guess that means more food for us hungry bears. Uh, then the bears noticed that something else was wrong. Oh, someone's been eating my porridge! Someone's been eating my porridge, and they ate it all up! Then the bears noticed something across the room. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sitting in my chair, and they broke it to pieces. <laughs> Finally, the bears saw their hibernation area. Someone's been sleeping on my waterbed. Someone's been sleeping in my waterbed. And she's still in it. <gasps> Goldilocks heard the sound effect and woke up. Greetings, my good bears. I suppose you are wondering what I am doing in your house. That is a good question. The bears were surprised to find the intruder, and they started to cry. Last week, the big bad wolf tried to blow our house down, and now this! And she's eaten all my food! That was my favorite meal ever! Goldilocks had only one thought. Escape! I apologize for my rudeness, but it is here that the curtain must close. Thank you, dear audience. Thank you. And so she zipped out of the cottage as fast as she could, and the bears never saw her again. And the moral of this story is, never break into a house of bears, even if you are hungry. The end. <laughs>